tell me, why do you use Discord? Do you go on to have a nice chat with your friends, play some video games, or screen share some movies? Or are you a predator looking for underage girls? Tell me. Nah, nah, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. Do you like a nice place where you can just vent out all of your emotions and meet some new people? Or are you 24 years old dating a 16 year old saying, oh, she's my partner in crime? Bro, she's the crime, the fuck? The rocket us, it's cool. Baby, I got my jewel. I got ARs, let's do it. Baby, don't be. Discord users be like, I've spent a lot of my life on Discord, and out of my years, I did an analytical study on every single individual that uses Discord. And as Ib said, they all have some sort of disability. Whoa! For research purposes, um, that does not include myself. Hold on, let's bring one of our experts real quick. All right, <clears throat> let's see here. The average Discord teenage boy seems to be at least 80% horny out of all of them. 30% have a mommy kink, and at least 40% racist. That concludes my research. God! Alright, let's just go into each one of them individually. The first group, the e-girls. They usually have a selfie mirror body pic, an anime profile picture, or some type of aesthetic. They come in a lot of varieties. At least 60% of the e-girls are normal. 20% are furries? 20% are not even born a girl? They have mommy kinks too? Jesus Christ, what the- Alright, uh, next group. Alright, that's enough of this. The kids that are under TOS. We're talking about the 12-year-old squeakers that always squeeze by the little loopholes of Discord uh, TOS. And they get in the server. Usually they stay in a while until the moment that they join VC. And the whole server hears the chipmunk. That is so bad! Dad, give me new Wi-Fi! All you do is build it up! Now don't get me wrong, they're supposed to be banned because of TOS. These kids can actually be really wholesome, or they can make Among Us and Big Chungus jokes. Not even kidding, last night a little Jimmy came in there and started making fart noises in the mic. I had to put him down. I, had, I just... <laughs> It's even worse with the ones that are like nine years old and they actually get raised on Discord. I said it again, if all your social interaction comes from Discord, don't even report them to their admins. Report them to your parents. They need friends. I'm not even trying to be mean. Discord is a terrible place for kids to grow up. Like little kids. One of the reasons being... We have another group. Uh, we touched on them a little bit. Um, the racists. It's always the guys coming in with the southern accents from Mississippi talking about their gun laws and confederate flags. I'm a person who thinks you should be able to speak your mind. But if your sole personality is on southern pride and political opinions that no one asked about, you gotta refocus your life. Like, I don't care if your cousin is a potential dating option. I don't care if you go to Triple K meetings every Tuesday. If you ever, if you ever try to press them. <laughs> You're gonna get called the N-word! <laughs> then they get banned. Alright, next up, the creeps. Oops, I already talked about them. What about the people with the terrible mics? I know people say like, oh, you got a McDonald's mic, but when I go to McDonald's, I can hear them say my order without one of these in the background. Or vacuum cleaner, or, or dog. That reminds me, how do people sit in Discord servers in their living room in front of their whole family? I don't think the entire house needs to hear those conversations. I'm, j I'm just saying. Next up, the e-daters. Now, this is a sensitive topic for a lot of people. These are the certain individuals that sit in Lover's VC for 12 hours a day with matching anime profile pictures. They believe in about five minutes that they found the love of their life. They're ready to start a family, um, you know, get a house together and pay life insurance. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a little bit of exaggeration. I, it's five minutes. No, they, they probably want to start this in maybe 20. Bruh. Horny. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you can't find love online. I'm saying you can't find it in three minutes. Yeah, guys, I want to reveal. I cut the braids. I'm going to get it back, though. Yo, I'm sorry. It is so hot. Bro, if you're going to eat it. <sighs> Don't be cringe. And I'll leave it at that to avoid hurting feelings. Did I mention the predators? I'm telling you, they get caught every single time. It's simple. If you're 20, don't ask 13 year olds for feet pics. I get it. You have a hentai addiction. Stick to the drawings. Don't make someone a victim. If you like kids, there's a number for help. It's called 911. Tell them yourself. I don't know. There's just so many stereotypes. I could talk about this for a long time. If you guys want a part two, 2,000 likes, and you know what? I'll make it happen. 2K likes. The reason why I know so much is because I've fallen victim to most of these. What do you mean by that? Except the predator, except the predator.